to see you again. We're still in the jungle looking for Monica. We just can't find her anywhere. Let me pray for you. Dear God, thank you for bringing us here today. Let us have so much fun and learn so much about you. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Hey Mims, didn't you say you had Monica's address? Oh yeah. Well, why don't we put it in our GPSs and use our phones to find her? Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, wait, I, uh, I haven't got any signal. I haven't got any either. Oh, me neither, but I do have a compass in my pocket. And, and Jordan, didn't you say you had a map in your pocket? Actually, Maureen, I do have a map. Amazing. Well, while we do that, here's worship. Doing a new thing, making my heart sing, bringing color to this brand new day. It's never been clearer, you draw me nearer. You're always with me, and you're here right now. My song, a melody, your perfect love for me. My heart is full of praise. It's never been clearer, you draw me nearer You're always with me and you're here right now My song, a melody Your perfect love for me My heart is full of praise Your love, it makes a way And I give you my hallelujah Hallelujah for all my Savior, have you heard of his perfect love? Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how he gave his son? Cause I have found this love. I believe in the sun. Show me your
life in the one called Savior. I believe he's the risen one. I believe that I'll live forever. I believe that my king will come. Cause I have found this love. I believe in the sun. Show me your My compass. Hey, GSK, I want to talk to you for a couple of minutes about the power of the Bible. You see, the Bible is the biggest weapon, the best thing that you can use to get through life. Did you know that the Bible is the most sold book ever in the world? That's crazy, right? You see, God knows us so well and he loves us so much that he just wants to help us. And he knew that we needed his handbook for life just to help us get through the situations that we find ourselves in, maybe at school or at home or with our friends or with our adult, whatever. You see, imagine if you went into a jungle with no compass, no map, you're going to get lost, aren't you? And you're going to be scared because you're like, I, I don't know how to get out of the situation or the space that I'm in. That's why we have to use our Bible, because our Bible is our compass. It's our map for life. It's God telling us how he wants us to live. See, in, uh, in James 1.25, it says this, but if you look carefully into the perfect law that sets you free, and if you do what it says and don't forget what you've heard, then God will bless you for doing it. And HSK, there's so many amazing accounts and, 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 and different things in the Bible about who Jesus was and God's character and God's personality that it helps us to highlight how we can treat other people, how we can love other people. So there's three real quick things that I want to run you through about reading your Bible. Number one is you've got to read your Bible every day. Make a habit of reading your Bible. Do it with do it with someone else, just a small bit a day. There's no right or wrong way to read your Bible. Just make sure that you are having the Word of God in your life every single day. You're learning more about who God is every single day. Number two, you've got to ask questions. Hey, just Kate, there is no silly question. You should ask as many questions as you've got about the Bible. I encourage you to ask your adult, to ask the kids team at church on a Sunday, they would love to have a conversation with you and help you understand the Bible that little bit better. And point number three, HSK, is you've got to pray. Because this is God's word, but we can also, we can pray to God, we can talk to God, we can ask God to reveal different things to us. Because HSK, with the Bible as our compass, we can't go wrong, can we? And that's why, like I said, the Bible is my compass. Uh, which way's north? Um, this way. 
And where are we now? I think we're somewhere between the swamp and the hanging vines. And Monica lives here, so we need to go southeast, which is this way. Oh, great. Let's go. Well done, Maureen. I'm so glad that you can read a compass, and I'm so glad that we had a map. Let's go to the Big Weird Dance video. For the Word of God is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joint and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Hebrews 4, verse 12. Okay, you've heard me do it. Now it's your turn. Repeat after me. For the Word of God is living and active. Sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joint and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Hebrews 4, verse 12. Okay, guys, you know the drill. Say it after me. For the Word of God is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joint and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Hebrews 4, verse 12. Are we nearly there yet? We've been walking for ages. I'm sure I've seen that plant before. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Maureen? Guys, trust me, I know how to use a compass. A compass always points true north and always leads us in the right direction. Just like the Bible always points us in the right direction. Yeah, the Bible's like a compass and a map. It shows us how to get through life and to live life well. Jo Jordan, is, is that map upside down? Oh no. Mims, I've had it upside down this whole time. No wonder we're lost. No, we're not lost. Oh, we are. The map's been upside down. We've been going in the wrong direction. It's okay, we can, we can just start again. But where are we? Oh, I don't know. Oh, maybe we should split up and go find Monica that way. If one of us finds her, we can just call to each other. Mims, do you think that's a good idea? Well, you've got a compass and Jordan's got a map and I just like exploring. Have you got any better ideas? No, but I don't like that one. Well, here's an idea. Why don't we check in with Dawn for Let's Get Crafty? That'll take our mind off of it. Hey, HSK. Do you remember that last time we talked about that the Bible is one big book? But even though the Bible is one big book, in the Bible, there are lots of little books. There are 66 little books in the one big book. And last time, we set you the challenge of learning all the names of the books in the Old Testament. 39. Did you do it? I'm almost there. Not quite. Almost. Well, this time, we're going to set you the challenge of learning the names of the books in the New Testament. And I know you can do it. But to help us do this, we are going to create a parrot. And on the ground where the parrot is sitting are the leaves. And each of the leaves has the names of the books of the New Testament. And then when we've learned them, we can stick them on. So we can go Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. And then we can stick the leaves of Matthew, Mark, Luke, John on the circle, on the perch. Okay, so are you ready? Go get your coloured card, get your Bible, get your pens, get your glue and scissors, and let's go. To make your leaves, you want your green paper, cut a strip, and then you're going to fold the strip. And what I'm going to do is show you two different ways of cutting the leaf shape. So you can either do the straightforward leaf shape, okay, which is just and I folded the paper just because it means I cut the leaves quicker because we want 29 leaves because we're going to write the books of the Bible on there. Okay, so there's some leaf shape there. But to do the other shape, the jungle shape, kind of leaf, 
what we're going to do, we're going to cut a big semicircle, or a big semicircle. Okay, you put your semicircle, and then you're just going to put little cuts along the edges. And then when it opens up, you've got a jungle leaf shape, and then you can still write the name of the book of the Bible in the middle. When you've cut all of your leaves out, we need 29 leaves. When you've cut those out, we want different strips of coloured paper or card. Cut them longer for the tail for the parrot and cut them shorter to go on the wing. And then I'll just cut them at an angle there. Then you just want to pick what coloured card you want your parrot to be. So to draw your parrot, let's make a template first. Then for the beak, and then for the feet, it's just basically a crown. So I'm just going to draw a line, and then you're going to draw some spikes, and there's the feet. And then we just want to cut them out and draw around them on the coloured card that we're going to use to create our parrot. Okay, and there is the parrot from the template that I've drawn. Okay, and now just to stick on the eyes, turn it this way so I can see where they're going. Okay, we want two eyes, one for either side. So everything that we cut, we need to make two of. I'll make sure my eyes are the right way. Because you'll see the parrot on both sides. So when you do the beak, you want to cut out two of the beaks as well. So you're going to stick one on one side and stick one on the other side too. And then with the beak, I'm just going to draw a line, making it like he's smiling a bit. There we go, okay. And now let's stick on the tail feather strips, okay. Now again, we want two of each colour because these are going to go on both sides. Okay, that's our tail stuck on. Now we need to make the parrot's wings with the scrap card that you've got left from when you cut out your parrot, all we're going to do is cut it like a giant leaf shape and that's then going to sit on the bird, okay? Now, to make the perch that the parrot is going to sit on. We need two pieces of the card and we're just going to draw two oval shapes. So we're going to draw the outside of the oval and then we're going to draw one on the inside. Okay, so once we've got our two circles stuck together, we want two strips of card. We're going to just place them at the bottom. Okay, so we're going to put one there and we're going to turn it over and we're going to sit our parrot on that bit, on the strip there. So what we need to do is lift up one side of the feathers, Ooh, make sure you get right. slide the parrot down there, okay? And then with the other strip, we're going to bring that and we're going to attach that to the other side, okay? And then we'll glue these bit of the feathers down, which keeps the parrot secure. And there we go, HSK. We have our palm tree for the Old Testament from last time, and we've got our parrot and the leaves for the New Testament this time. As you can see, I've still got a long way to go, but I bet you can do it quicker than me. Here we are, once again, in the natural habitat of Monica the monkey. Today, she is preparing to eat at that favorite cuisine of the monkey a banana. Let's take a closer look as she eats her lunch. Well, I've never seen a monkey eat a banana so fast. If you think you can beat Monica's speed in eating a banana, we'd love to see your videos and perhaps you'll be on next week's show. Let's leave Monica in peace as she goes about her daily routine. Oh no, 
I can't believe it. I've had the map upside down this whole time. Oh, what a mess. I hope Monica's still here. She must be around here some. Help! Jordan, oh, I knew something bad was gonna happen. Don't worry, I'm coming. Help! I'm coming, Maureen. Ah, I'm stuck in a swamp. Help! Oh, Monica! 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 But before we go, let me pray. God, I thank you so much for this service. I thank you for who you are, Lord. And I pray that I get out of this massive hole. Amen. Well, I hope I see you again next week. Bye. Bye. Oh, bye. Hey parents, if you want to get connected and make friends in your local area, then we would love to help you. Head to the Hillsong Kids website, click connect me, fill out the form, then we'll give you a call because we want you to be in community. We don't want you to be parents alone. Also, we've got kids Zooms happening every Sunday. So if you want your kids to be engaged, then you can do that. Also, we filmed a parenting course called Power to the Parents Live. So you can also head to the website to watch all the recordings from all the previous weeks. Enjoy. Hi guys, don't forget to check out our HSK app for more activities and daily devotionals. And you can get your grown up to check out our website to find out how to get connected.